This video will show you how to evaluate the integral of a piecewise function. We are given a piecewise function h of x equal to x squared for x less than equal to 3 and is equal to 12 minus x for x greater than 3. We are going to find the integral from 0 to 5 h of x dx. First of all, let's try to visualize the graph of this piecewise function, although it is not necessary. Now the function behave like y equals x squared from x 0 to 3. So we know that when x equals 0, y equals 0. When x equals 1, y equals 1. When x equals 2, y equals 2 squared is 4. When x equals 3, y equal 3 squared is 9. So this is the graph of y equal to x squared. Now, for the portion of the graph for x more than 3, the function behave like 12 minus x. So for example, for x equal to 3, 12 minus 3 will be 9. So for x equal to 3, 12 minus 3 will be 9 again. So your match connect with the 9 earlier. And for x equal to 5, 12 minus 5 will be 7. So you join this, you get y equal to 12 minus x. As I say, when you do the integration from 0 to 5, you are actually finding a sine area under the graph. The meaning of sine area means the area can be negative if the portion on the graph is lying below the x-axis. Now, we are trying to find the area from 0 to 5. So this is the area we're looking for. You can see that this area is broken up into two pieces. The pieces from 0 to 3 and from 3 to 5. Then you add them up. This is how we do this integral. To do the integration of h of x from 0 to 5, you can integrate from 0 to 3 since the function is divided into two pieces. Before x equal to 3, the function h of x is x squared. Then integrate from 3 to 5. The function behave like 12 minus x dx. Then integrate x squared, get x cubed over 3 from 0 to 3 as a limit. And integrate 12 minus x equal 12x minus x squared over 2 from 3 to 5. Putting down the limit, you get x equal 3 now, got 27 over 3 minus 0 over 3. When you put 3 and 0 into the limit of the first term, and second term will be 12 times 5 is 60 minus 5 squared is 25 over 2 minus 12 times 3 is 36 minus 3 squared is 9 over 2. So this will give me 27 over 3 is 9 plus 60 minus 36 is 24 minus 25 over 2 plus 9 over 2 you get minus 16 over 2 which is 25.